I'm Valerie. And I'm Laura. And we are joining you again from the beautiful campus of Meridian, which is open for business. Uh, and we uh, wanted to join you again this week, like we've been for the past couple of weeks, and just sort of check in and see how you're doing. So yeah. So Laura, how was how was your week this week? This week was, yeah. you know, just like the past couple of weeks, unpredictable and a little bit chaotic. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, but we did have a new thing this week, so my daughter went back to school virtually this week. Okay, so. so so I don't have children, so tell me what that was like. Okay, so you know you hear a lot about everything that's going on, right? Mm -hmm. About um, you know all of a sudden the parents are teachers and working mm -hmm. parents and mm -hmm. you know multiple kids and not enough devices and there's just a lot out there. Everything from yeah. memes, which I love, uh, <laughs> to to you know real struggles and real barriers because it's sort of new for everyone. Mm -hmm. But I learned a couple of things this week, right? So I learned that. Um, this pressure to be perfect that sort of has always been there for, for moms, right? So there's the whole like mommy wars thing, who's doing it best. Uh, that is alive and well in this new virtual homeschooling world, right? So uh, so I had to sort of get over that really quick. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I have the added benefit where I live with a teacher. My husband is a, is a public mm -hmm. school teacher. And, uh, and I realized that the teachers do not expect us really to be teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, we're sort of asking, asked to be like classroom monitors at this point right um, which I am not dismissing that's a lot of work uh, but they're they're still very focused on educating our kids and they're still very focused on, on doing their job um, and then I also had this added realization that uh, like if it's a train wreck if it's awful and my daughter learns nothing for the past you know for the next six to eight weeks uh -huh. like it's probably not gonna ruin her life <laughs> <It's true. laughs> and that's probably not going to happen. It's not going to be a total train wreck. Right. She's not going to learn nothing. Uh, but in the great scheme of life, I think that if we do the best that we can and we get the most information across as we can, and we hope she doesn't fall too far mm -hmm. behind, we're not alone. Every kid in, in the whole country at this point is in this same boat. And, uh, and we'll get through it. So I think, I, again, you know, we've talked about this the past couple of weeks, mm -hmm. like grace and mercy. And I think we need to apply it to ourselves and, and to education right now as well. I think that's so true and I, I think it applies more broadly too, you know, for I don't have children, so for people without children, I still think that there's those pressures to, um, you know, make a perfect routine and start these new habits and, um, you know, work out at home every day, but it's like, we, were we doing that before? You know, I think we need to give ourselves a little bit of a break and, and kind of do what we can and take care of ourselves. Um, right, you're, you're so right, because there's, there's this whole like, like let's who's better at that being locked in right yeah like who's yeah. doing this pandemic the best right I mean I think that that's really unrealistic and mm -hmm. we have to the same way we talked last week about having to sort through like the news mm -hmm. you know determining what was just sort of ruminating and opinion and editorial and what was what we needed to pay attention to right. I think we have to do the same thing with all of the information that's being pushed out at us right now about mm -hmm. how we should be behaving and what we should be doing um, yeah. and we and it's great information there's good stuff out there it's a great time to learn about nutrition it's a great time mm -hmm. to learn about changing habits but there is this idea of pressure yeah so um, so I like that I like that well, yeah. what's one thing like good thing you're gonna do to sort of take care of yourself this week um I think I'm going to um, I'm gonna make some really good meals at home. I've been um, supporting local businesses and getting takeout um, lately, but I think I'm, I'm gonna cook some good things at home, maybe some new things I haven't done before. What about you? I am gonna binge watch a Netflix show. Because I am I'm sort of rebelling right now against the whole like workout nutrition and do everything perfectly and have a schedule and, and I'm doing that you know I'm doing a good job but one day this week I am going to rebel against that and I'm going to binge watch a Netflix show. I so if you have any suggestions it. we can talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. All right, well, um, do you wanna remind them really quick too about how they can access our services here at Meridian? Yeah, so Meridian is still going on. Our services are, are still available. You can call 352-374-5600 um, um, and set up an appointment with us if you're feeling stressed out and all that stuff. And um, we are encouraging telehealth. We are encouraging people to just stay at home um, and do that initial appointment from a smartphone or device. So that is an option. So feel free to um, you know, use those services. Meridian is by your side and, and we will be 
during this pandemic. Yeah, and I think it's important to note too that the new stay-at-home order uh, from the governor does not impact Meridian Services mm -hmm. at all. So the things we've been telling you about for the past couple of weeks are, are still where we are as an organization and uh, we look forward to serving you if you need us. Yeah. So take care guys and we'll see you next week. Bye.